everybody and welcome back to Quack Media. Today I'm going to be reviewing these mice. Alright, so first I'm going to be looking at the Shark Basic. Um, all this review is going to be pretty informal. Uh, all the stats you can look up online, uh, so I'm not going to go over those. Um, and I will link to me using this now. But this is the Shark Basic. It's a vertical mouse. Uh, the reason for the vertical mouse is ergonomics. Uh, you know, for carpal tunnel, and you know, it's just something something different to get your your wrist out of the same repetitive motion. All right, so this mouse is coming in right around twenty dollars on Amazon. Um, it's actually a pretty good quality mouse for the price point. Um, I like it, it's, it's really easy to use, you know, really straightforward, you know, right, left click, scroll, and the scroll's pretty quiet. Um, and then on the bottom, you have your power on, that's the eye, and then down here is where the dongle's stored when you're not using it. So this mouse is pretty much, you know, your standard mouse made vertical. It's pretty good. Okay, so now, I'll be showing you the deluxe vertical mouse. A um, couple features is that it ha actually has this uh, outer pad to it that's not part of the mouse itself. It's an, an attachment that you can actually take off pretty easily uh, and put on just as easily. Um, but this one feels more like a joystick. Uh, it still has your you know right click, left click, and scroll, backwards, forwards, and then your DPI is actually on the top, if you can see. Um, Alright, so on the bottom, you can see right here is your dongle, right here is your on and off, and then there's the eye, and there is a trip, two AAA batteries that go inside here. So this one, when you hold it, feels a lot like a joystick, which is weird to me for a mouse, but it kind of works. This one is the hardest to hold this way, but it fits in my hand so nicely. It's almost like it was designed to fit in your hand. All right, so this is the Evo Luent. This is the mouse that I primarily use at work for doing SOLIDWORKS. And a couple of features on this mouse is that right here there's actually a really nice spot to put your thumb. Can you see that? There you go. But it you know fits your thumb in there really nice, so you have a good hole on the mouse. Um, you know you have your right click down here, uh, left click, and then this is the, there's a middle click, uh, and that's what I use to orbit my model around. Uh, and then there's also a wheel to scroll with. On the bottom. There's the power right here. This right here is the eye, and next to it, if you can see that, this is where the uh, battery would go in, and you can also put the dongle inside there. All right, so this mouse comes in right around $110. Yes, it is the most expensive, but I believe it's the most worth it. You know, it does everything else that all these other mice are going to do, um, but what I've experienced is that I've had this mouse turned on at my desk, whether it's not moving or I am moving it. It lasted right around two months, powered on at all points. So I I really really like it. It had a, a you know a regular Energizer rechargeable battery in it, and it it lasted me two months, always powered on. I don't know how you can do better than that with all these other mice except for the wired one. All right, so some cool features on this is that it actually has the point speed right here. Plus is on the top, minus is, on, is below, and then it's displayed right here, and it shows you with a green light when it's on. So it'll actually display where uh, your pointer speed is. So. I like that a lot because it can tell you how fast your setting is at uh, and when to change it if you're, you know, think you're going too fast. All 
All right, so this is the gamer mouse, and it is ten dollars, and it feels like it is ten dollars. It is not a fantastic mouse. Uh, but it does the job if all your batteries die for your wireless mice. This is a good backup. All right now, so this is your standard mouse. This is a TechNet, um, you know, wired mouse. It's a gaming mouse, uh, technically. Uh, this is advertised for $10. It has a braided cord. Um, it comes with this Velcro uh, strap to tie the cord up, and then it, it just plug and play pretty much. All right, so the Magic Mouse you can find on Amazon right now for just about $80. I've seen it on sale for about $73. I will link it in the description so you can see. All right, this is the Magic Mouse. I use this quite a bit, but it's not good for my 3D modeling, so that's where I switch over to these vertical mice. Um, but when I'm just you know playing around on YouTube or if I'm you know writing a Word document or Excel spreadsheet, uh, I'm using this. Um, it has, you know, functions in it that help me scroll back and forth between pages. Um, it, it also connects to my laptop without a dongle or without having a cord. So I like that about it. And it's it's Apple. Everything's really nice and sleek. Um, I really love keeping this on my desk. It looks nice. It matches my desk. And it fits well with my laptop so that's that's really why I have it so I can't even say how many times I've had this and maybe not even using it on a a mouse track or anything like that or even on a hard surface I've just had it in my bed with me and linked my laptop to my TV and I've just you know used it here or you know used it to you know scroll back and forth or go to different pages so it's almost doubling as a remote for me um, let me know if that's what you guys do with these or any of these mice you know what you do with them if it's not just traditionally at a desk so for all the mice that are not wired uh, being these four here um, I run you know rechargeable batteries on them you know buying batteries at least in my opinion it seems like a waste if you can get rechargeable ones why wouldn't you uh, up front it's a, a bit of an expense but you're gonna save in the long run um, also saving the planet uh, you know instead of throwing those batteries away constantly you're gonna be throwing these ones away a lot less I believe most of them have like quite a few cycles so you can you know charge them up to like I think it's like a thousand times or something but I run you know all rechargeable batteries whether it be double-a AA or AAA, a on all my mice I also have a wireless keyboard that I have for my Apple uh, laptop and I run you know rechargeable batteries on that too why wouldn't I I also use it for my you know Xbox controllers and I use it for anything else that needs double-a batteries all right, so now it's time for you to put a comment down in the comment sections in which one you like the most. Um, my personal favorite is going to be the Magic Mouse for day-to-day -day tasks. The second to that is going to be the Evoluent um, Vertical Mouse, which is what I use at work most often for you know a lot of heavy work. But you guys, you know, put a comment um, and tell me which which one you like the most. All right, so if you guys like these products as much as I do, I'm going to link them in the description with the pricings of them at the point which I bought them. Um, but if you like them, go click the link and go buy them. All right, guys, so that wraps this video up. If you liked the video, like. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And uh, click the bell down in the right-hand side, and you can turn on my notifications. Thanks. Like always, I'm going to post all of the products that I use to take video, all of my lighting, all of my editing tools. Uh, now it's going to include mice. Uh, now it will include the batteries too. But I will link all of the products that I'm using to make these videos and edit these videos so you can see and track you know, what my videos look like now as opposed to in the future what they're going to look like. Going down